people use the words rug and carpet interchangeably, but they're not the same thing. A rug covers just part of the floor. A carpet goes wall to wall. Today, most carpets on the market are made of synthetic materials. The first step is to make the carpet yarn. They start by feeding bales of nylon or polyester fiber into the opening and blending machine. The carding machine then untangles the individual fibers, lining them up in neat rows, then gathering them into wider bands. The bands go into cans. From the cans, they go into a machine called a drawing frame, which draws out five threads to make one rough, loose thread. That thread goes on to spools. Then they twist threads from two spools to make a stronger and thicker thread. Next, they twist two of those threads together to form a two-ply yarn. To ensure the two plies don't untwist, the yarn goes through a heat setting machine at 132 degrees Celsius. The continuous heat permanently sets it, much the way a curling iron sets hair. After 45 seconds of heat setting, the yarn is rewound on spools. Those spools then go to the tufting department, where the carpet making begins. A standard 144 inch wide carpet is made from 1,440 spools of yarn. Each spool feeds into a plastic tube, which feeds into the tufting machine, where the 1,440 lines of yarn feed 1,440 tufting needles. The needles stitch the yarn into a canvas backing made of polypropylene. With slow motion, you can see the yarn being hooked onto the canvas, then cut underneath into carpet pile. Up to 12 needles work each inch of canvas. The result is a pile carpet in the standard 12-foot width. Next, they dye it. For multicolored carpets, they use a machine called a chromajet. It works much the way a computer inkjet printer does, forcing streams of dye in different colors into the carpet fibers. The more complicated and colorful the design, the more often the machine passes over the carpet. For solid color dyeing, there's a mixer in each dye reservoir to keep the color even. They soak the carpet for four hours in a hot bath of dye and water heated to 100 degrees Celsius. Another method uses heat and air pressure in an autoclave. What the bath method does in four hours, this method does in just 30 minutes and with more carpets at a time. Once the dyeing is finished, they apply a water-based glue to a polypropylene backing. Then put the backing over the original canvas backing, locking the carpet fibers in place. Then it's onto what's called the marriage roll, a roller press that marries the two backings together. After a quick run through an oven to make the water and the glue evaporate, they cut the finished carpet into rolls. A standard roll is 30.5 meters long.